We've been really blessed over the past couple of weeks and in the weeks to come to be able to have several B'nai Mitzvah in our community. And often when we are having a B'nai Mitzvah, I think about what it means to be a leader. Many of our students learn what it means to be a leader through their B'nai Mitzvah. And so as I think about leadership, I think about what it means to be a mentor and what it means to be a mentee. One time I was told that we should consider and think about who are our mentors in life. We shouldn't put them on a pedestal. And when we mentor someone, we shouldn't put them down below. That the opportunity is for us to walk shoulder and shoulder and that we can learn from the person. And the minute that we lift them too high, we put them in a situation where they are godlike. And when we put them too low, then we see ourselves maybe as too godlike. And so I'm referring now to Pirkei Avot where it says, be easy with somebody who is in a position of authority or who is a mentor. Be kal, kal is the word. Be light, learn what they have to offer. Be easy. Don't make it into more. Take a moment and learn. And then the next part, it says, be really simple with those who are below you. In other words, this word noach, it means be restful, be kind, be considerate. And so when we are considering and thinking about those that are our mentee or our mentor, let us not take ourselves too seriously. Let us really consider what it is that we are doing. Let us think about how it is that we are being a leader or how we are being led. It's not that serious. It is something that we are learning from. And that's precisely what this last portion of this Pirkei Avot, this Mishnah teaches us. It says, and greet everyone with a cheerful manner. In other words, if you want to be a leader, we have to learn how to engage those in our lives and that we should do so cheerfully with simcha, with happiness. And that is truly how we lead, and that is truly how we follow, to find the happiness and the joy, not only in our relationships, but in every people and every person that we encounter. Shalom.